Oh, guys, I just had a huge fish, dude. I'm not even joking. He got off. Absolute monster. I know where the big fish went, and it was down here. Got a uh, gum craw. This is one of my favorites. It's like a molting craw kind of style. What I got is a Titan Tungsten quarter ounce weight. And it's not pegged, but I did make a bobber stop knot right here to protect my Palomar knot so it doesn't, uh, doesn't mess it up when it's clicking along on there. So this is just 8 pound mono on that little Zebco slingshot. Got one. Had one. Didn't hook that. I just pulled. It's been a long day, guys. I did not even expect to be fishing today. I guess stands the reason that I would screw everything up. They're definitely eating them. They're eating moving baits, they're eating slow baits. I just gotta, I gotta focus. Got one. Got a little hook set on that one. Oh, no, dude. How in the world are you getting off? Did he even have the hook? Definitely had the hook. Is this hook even sharp? Oh, dude, it's sharp. Got him. I got him, guys. Dude. Dude, are you kidding me? That was a good hook set. What is wrong with these fish? How are they doing this to me? Do they just got, like, holes in their lip where this thing is going? I mean... It's a good hook. It's got a decent barb on it. But they are throwing this hook. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't understand at all what is going on with these fish. This is a sharp hook. Maybe the barb is just a little too small. I just don't understand. This is a cheap eagle claw hook from Walmart. I am expecting a shipment of some good hooks sometime next month. But because of this whole virus thing having everything shut down, it's not I'm not going to be here till next month sometime. So for now, I'm using some cheap Walmart Eagle Claw hooks, which I've used in the past and had some pretty good luck. Don't tell me it's going to throw that hook this time. Don't you dare. I'll keep you down. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Okay. Alright. No, no, no. I got you on the bank now. You can throw all you want. I think what was happening was my bait was coming up, stopping my sinker, and giving them a little bit of leverage. That is a decent little fish. Probably two, two and a half pounds at least. And he is a 
fighter. He is a fighter. Got another one, guys. Nope, don't you throw it. I want to break this line. I mean, it's only eight pound test. They are fighting hard. Not even monsters, but they are fighting. They're good fish, no doubt about that. Hold on. Let me get you off of here before you go getting crazy on me. Oh, dude, you got hooked real good. So far back in there. But I can't, I can't turn it to get it out. Can't turn it to get it out. Don't flop on it. Dude. All right. New plan. Fish grips. Forceps. turn it with these things. There we go. You're on the fish grips, bro. You ain't getting off. That's why they call them grips. Just hanging out. Okay, he's gonna be alright. <laughs> I was a little worried there. Well, that's two good ones. Now, one thing that's really helping me out here is this tungsten weight, because mono has very, very little sensitivity to it, because it's so stretchy. However, you can add just a little bit of sensitivity to it by using a tungsten weight. Now, I used to use exclusively lead weight. Oh, dude, I'm missing a feeler, or a claw. <laughs> well, that, that bait's done. I'm not going to mess around with that no more. Like I was saying, you can add a little bit of sensitivity by adding tungsten. And that's exactly what I did. Added my tungsten weight on there, and now I can actually feel it when they bite, even on mono. And at first, I didn't realize it was bites until it was too late, until they were taken off with it, and I wasn't getting a good hook set. Then I realized what the what the bite felt like on mono with one of these, and now I'm hook setting them. This bait is totally toast. Totally toast. Even if we don't catch that giant, it's still a really good day. We're catching fish. That means he's interested in it. Oh, dude, I got a decent one. Not a giant. It's definitely not the giant. 
Whatever it is, it's biting good. Oh my goodness. It's a dink. <laughs> it's a dink. Hit it like a freight train, man. Hit it like a freight train. Boom. That's the monster right there. That's the monster that I was looking for. He did. He hit it hard. He must have been on the other side of some weeds. I pulled him through the weeds thinking he was bigger. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's a decent one. Unless it's another dink in this. Unless it's another dink that was in there, but it's biting a little bit better. Probably a two or three pounder. And it's, it's got a mouth full of weeds. It, it is. It's a little one. A little better than the last one, but that's what it is. It's, it's the weeds over there. Alright, I'm not touching you till you cut that stuff out now. I'm not, I'm not getting that big four out hook in my hand. Not doing it. Not doing it. You're going on the grips too. Just because I don't want to do it. Uh, not even a pound. Maybe a pound. Close to it. Close enough. Thanks for stopping by. See you again next time. Oh man, he pushed that thing right up over the weight. So a bite. There's a short strike. But I said that was the last cast. And this time I'm actually going to uphold last cast law. Anyway guys. I had a ton of fun. I was throwing this little yum craw. He is totally destroyed with a quarter ounce Titan Tungsten weight. I was also throwing a white Rage Slimmer on a belly weight 4 aught BWG hook. I think that's like a eighth of an ounce, maybe 3 sixteenths ounce. Throwing that on the Abu Garcia Black Max Next Generation. The Yum Craw was actually on that little Zebco Slingshot. And the reason I still throw this is, number one, I've caught some pretty good sized fish on it, not broken anything, and I can throw really lightweight stuff, like this is 8 pound mono. Really lightweight stuff on it, with no trouble. Because it is a medium light, moderate, the whole rod will bend all the way down. This has got 15 pound mono. Um, a lot of the times I like to throw like 12 pound, but I grabbed some 15 pound because I was going to be fishing some muddy water and threw that on there. And that's actually the same setup that I caught that really big bass on at uh, Canisius Lake, the tournament. But I wasn't throwing a rage swimmer, I was throwing a uh, craw pattern red square bill crankbait. Just a 1.5, I think it dives to like 3 feet or something, or 2.5 feet. And it was in about 2 feet of water. So, that's what I was throwing that day on this rod and reel with this line. That's what I caught that big fish on. But anyway guys, that's what I was throwing. Caught some good fish, had a lot of fun after a hard day's work. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video.